she even bothered to vlog? I don't even know. Like, who even watches her videos? Yeah, I know, okay. right? <sighs> Wait, you should do her intro. Yeah. Okay, you go, you go. Okay. You know the tuna. TV! <laughs> Enough with that. Okay, um, here's your payment. You can go now. Seriously? Are you serious? Yeah. What is this? This is 20 cents. What can we do with this? How oh cheap are you? Oh my god, guys. I, I'm not even earning so much yet. <laughs> okay. Tina the Tuna TV. So today we'll be talking about the cost of living here in France in general. Oh, do you want some money? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Anna is here again. Hello. Safi and Shun. They're actually one of the closest friends that I have here in Lyon, but most of the time I'm with Anna because these two are either busy or they're sleeping. I'm not going to go into details how I met them because it's all because of Anna. Yeah. Yeah. Everything <laughs> started from here. Yeah, yeah started from like here. Gradual, like... I know. <laughs> We're just gonna quickly cover how the budgeting, how you can manage your finances. I'll start with rent. So basically for me, student university or rent. Residence. It's not too expensive than the normal ones. Mm -hmm. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, she's just not really fond of cameras. <laughs> Going back, Safi. <sighs> For student residence apartment, it's around 300 to 400. I'm paying 387. That's only because our school is partner of KUS. Yes, I think it is very famous so, for students. Yeah. Have you tried KUS before? No. At all. I used to apply no. for it, but I never got any. I never. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Ask them, please. It's so weird because like KUS is like for broke people. And I'm like, sorry, I'm I know. Not broke people. Excuse me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, let's not say broke people because for sure a lot of people are no, in university like... or residence. I was exaggerating. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, let's just say yeah. affordable. It's between 300 to 400. It is much cheaper than the normal ones because, for example, for Safi, she's paying 600 plus. No, less. Less than? Yeah, 500. Oh, yeah. 500. It's not that expensive because like I'm really in center. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. She's like in the center, the heart of Lyon. In Hotel de Ville? Yeah. Wherein a lot of people party, they go for clubs There's and everything. Everything, yeah. everything that you need, like restaurants as well. Yeah. And I say like around five hungry. Good studios. I think it also depends on where in the town you're mm -hmm. going. Yeah. The center of town is usually more expensive and the more you live on the outskirts, where she lives skirts, by the way. Yeah. The more cheaper. Yours is 470. 470. The same as yours? 480. Locator is like shared flat around 415 and 550. No. 450 yeah. and 550 Depends. for studio. a studio apartment is how much? 500 and more. 500 and more. Mine is kind of big. What is the square meters? I think it's 35. Oh, that is big. Mine is 18. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right about what you just said. Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> we'll move on to restaurants, Anna. Because obviously food is my specialty. Mm -hmm. Restaurants, like it really depends on what you want to eat and the quality of what you want to eat as well. Mm -hmm. If you're like on a tight budget, snack themed restaurants where sandwiches, tacos, which is really like famous here, cheaper pizzas, depending yeah. on where you're buying them. That would be between the range of like, between five, five to 10, 15 euros. Mm -hmm. We're talking about kebab, kebab snacks. tacos, snacks. Snack. Mm -hmm. And then you have the first range of restaurants, which is between the prices of 10, 10. and 20, I would mm -hmm. say. Yeah. Good food, good quantity. You have like a plate of 1 euros of Asian food. You have um, to look at us. <laughs> Asian food. No, no, that's like <laughs> more. French cuisine. Traditional one. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. it's already between 20 and 40 euros a fancy dinner date or something like that. What's sad is when, for example, for Asians, right? Like, miss the taste of home. But it's the exactly. same for me. <laughs> it is I the same. Know. There are like about three known African restaurants, at least that I know of, here in Lyon. It's super frustrating not to be able to eat something <laughs> not only from your culture that tastes the same as back home. Yes, you might I agree with it, you. But you won't, it won't taste well, so good. Well, I mean, like, well, like Asian restaurant depends. You know? Chinese restaurants are more authentic, I think. Um, it depends, I guess. It's just weird because I found this. I'm gonna name the restaurant next to our school. The Japanese one. <laughs> 
true. It's a Japanese one run by a Chinese okay. family. I think you know that. When I asked some of my classmates to go there and eat with me, they were like, uh, Tina, it says it's Japanese but fake. <laughs> you recommend students to go to these kind of restaurants between 10 to 20 euros per meal? No, I mean, it's once a month. Yeah. You might as well save up. Not do anything, or when you get your money, be like, mm -hmm. let's splurge and enjoy one good meal outside with my friends. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Wait, no, she's no, no, no. Ours, <laughs> It's our secret. <laughs> By the way, uh, Chunyi is the housemate of Anna. So I always see it's him like every time I come here. And for you, is it once a month as well? For like really good dinners. Oh my god, we shouldn't <laughs> talk about food anymore. <laughs> like, really good dinner too? <laughs> no, I mean, it depends. They want a month, but sometimes it doesn't go as planned. Yeah, yeah true. Up. Let's move forward, guys. <laughs> so the next topic will be about shopping. Where exactly you can find those not so expensive? Let's just say Leon area where we live right now. I'd say that there are people who organized like in a flat or in a restaurant or in a bar mm -hmm. and they gather all of their clothes and they mm. make it an event mm -hmm. yeah secondhand clothing vintage repurposed oh. it's like garage sale for yeah, yeah it is yeah. I think that is smarter, by the way, especially for students because I heard from a friend of mine who he told me pants, 2 euros, 6 euros, yeah. and it's vintage, secondhand, like what you told me. It's good to save money, but you just need to be smart about your style. Yeah. Mm. I know sometimes I just walk into it, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna see what's going on. Mm. Then I see everything that I like. And I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I know, and I then I come back out, like, oh, look at what I bought. Look, I bought the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have that problem. Mm. How about. Okay, Anna, that's only your problem. <laughs> but I'm with you. I and that's actually not good for as a student who's saving. I would say follow Sapi's idea <laughs> where you go on a garage sale or be smart about where you buy stuff. It could be very tricky sometimes that when they say oh. on sale, it's still expensive, really expensive. Yeah, like it goes from 100 to 90. <laughs> then you realize there's only specific yeah. items. What I hate the most is that the new arrivals mm -hmm. are now on sale. How's it going? And it's like fresh. The first thing you see is like new arrivals. And you're like, oh, this one. Okay, this is not on sale. <laughs> <laughs> Keep walking. No, why are you doing it? Yeah. yeah. Put it in the bag. It's like, <laughs> like you walk someone with money, and you're like, hmm. And then you're like, I, I can buy five, five kilos. Of this. I always do that. Even more, like. <laughs> Even more. Maybe like a house already. Because I'm done with you, socks. So that's a problem that all of you merchandisers needs to fix. By the way, I know, I know it's a good marketing strategy, mm -hmm. but it's not good for us. Yeah. False advertisement. Mm -hmm. And also, I just thought of it. Like mm -hmm. there are really good plans for students, which is I think it's called Uni Days. Uni it's Days. A side and you can get like ten percent off this brand mm -hmm. or twenty percent off this brand, and they, you just only have to put your email address. Okay. In school. And then they validate it and they have all of the alpha groups. Okay, send me the link. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uni days. Uni days. And I have another uh, suggestion. The Black Friday. Oh. Hey, everyone actually can relate to that. If you're not fond of fighting for your item. Like, you can buy a live Black Friday. You have to be sure of your size now. You can find like shirts. Even prints sometimes. For less than 10. Garage sale like 5 to 10. In fast fashion, everything starts between like 10 and 35, 40. 40. 40. If you buy coats, 50, 80. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey guys, just save up money so that you don't have to think about the <laughs> price. And the fourth one is groceries. groceries. The student, because we're all students okay. by the way. I usually set up like uh, 50. Per week, I don't spend that much. I would just save it up. I would say 50 is maximum per week. Mine is about 15 to 20. When I get 5% discount on top of that for I students. Spend... Oh, yeah, I have to heard of that. Have to bring always your student card. I think I went with you that time. Yes. You express. Yeah. I have everything by the way. Beauty products, for cleaning, house, all types of food, Basics, uh, meat, legumes. What is legumes again? Uh, vegetables. vegetables. <laughs> Birds. Wow, these are rich kids. I, mean, I don't know why I'm no, here. No, it's not. <laughs> why are you, I know they're why gonna are you react. Why are you getting with 20 euros per week? I mean, 20 euros. 15 to 20 euros because I get basic ones. Eggs, meat, vegetables, rice, bread, and cheese. That's it. 
it shouldn't go over based on my experience I order my food online everything that you need or want I yeah, you have to pay the, for the delivery right? yeah the delivery that is very it's, expensive it's 5 euros it's not it's expensive 5 euros you can buy yourself a beer I'm buying for the whole month 5 euros is not that much considering uh -uh, that you're not going to buy for your whole month this food has been here for like 2 and a half weeks I haven't bought anything and I'm still good really so we'll move forward now I need to <laughs> Cut that! Oh my god, I'm gonna burn! <laughs> I know! Well, as for the best part of this topic, how much does the alcohol cost? Like, in general, we'll start with beers. Okay. We love beers, by the way. But, hold on. You love, be you love beers. I do! I'm not really an alcohol people. Person. <laughs> alcohol person. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Well, actually, I have another me. Is that Yeah, why? yeah. Like alcohol personality. Family. Yeah, exactly. Beer <laughs> <laughs> First with the beer, by the way. If you want to go to bar type restaurant or clubs, clubs is more expensive, by the way. It costs, let's just say restaurant and the bar, it costs around 5 euros to 10 for one beer. Mm, depending on the happy hour. I Unless actually can find that. one that only costs like me. Euro no yeah, one I think so. at the Guillotia. Come on, Guillotia. That's one where I lived right before. Next to the, uh, Shout out to Jayan. <laughs> yeah, Basically, there's actually beers that cost less than five euros. You just need to find it where exactly. We're talking only about Lyon. By the way, I went to Paris. All of us, it's really expensive to buy a beer there. Well, I went to this semi restaurant. It cost me oh eight. Why are you shouting? Yeah, I am <laughs> not oh. shouting. No! <laughs> 8 to 15 euros, one beer. Drink as much as Anna. As much as Why are you throwing me under the bus? Like, <laughs> boom! <laughs> you know why? You know why? Because I can handle my alcohol. Some people cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you're not a beer person, let's talk about cocktails. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Oh, cocktails. It's fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Cocktails. Yeah, cocktails. So, kind of. It's usually expensive, like about eight euros. And it's not that big. No, right? it's not. I mean, the cocktails, you're like. Mm. <laughs> no, it's bad. not. It's not. <laughs> Usually, cocktails are expensive and friends. And we've been to like a bar in Lyon, like where it's only cocktails, but it's good alcohol, like, starting to 10. Well, but it's really good. It depends. Euros. We'll move forward now to most French one. I don't know what it is. Cheers on that. It really depends. We've been to places where it's euros a glass, and other places where five, six euros a glass. Like more like restaurants type. Over time, I figured out what I like. You can have really cheap bottles of wine for like three, three fifty, mm -hmm. yeah. and then you can have best bottles of wine can really go really high. Average like stores between three fifty, twelve euros, and also you can use an app. I yeah, mm. it rates the wine. Do you love beers, wines, and others. Alcohol. There's a lot here. As long as it's 5 p.m., you can start drinking. Okay, guys, it's a wrap. I'm really happy, by the way, because this too. Huggy time. I'm just really happy that Safi and Chunyi was able to join my vlog for tonight. It's actually leaving for Paris tomorrow. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. We are starting to have our dinner now, thanks to Chunyi yeah. and Anna. Curry, chicken, chicken curry. curry. Yeah, she's a good chef. Au revoir.